Welcome guys to your next tutorial. What we're going to do in today's tutorial is fix that problem I was talking about in uh, you know, the last tutorial um, where we you know, had our ball being the same type of item once it gets recreated on the right side of the screen. So we're going to jump into our item class to get started with and we are going to create a private boolean value. Uh, we haven't worked with booleans all that much so I thought that we'd set one up. So we're going to set up a boolean value. I'm going to set this equal to or called uh, create new and we're going to set this initially to be false because we don't want to create a new one right away uh, we're just going to say false so the next thing that we want to do is we want to generate our getter and setters so again right click source over or generate getter and setters we're going to generate the getter and setters for get new or create new and there we go got that set up right cool the next thing that we want to do is go down to our update method and within our update method it checks for you know if our current x position is less than zero minus the radius which is the left side of our screen then what we'll do is just set our x position to be a random value to the right side of the screen but instead all we're going to do is we're going to say uh, create uh, new and we're going to set this equal to be true because now we want to create a new um, a new object uh, a new item instead of just having the same item shifted over to the right some more so that's all we're doing there and we're gonna say true and also within our check for collision here here we have this uh, you know if we have a collision we perform an action and then we shift uh, the x value and the y value but we're also instead we're just gonna say a create new equal to true and there we go awesome we can get rid of some of that code and now we've set it equal to be true alright so uh, we have that all set up and we're just going to jump into our starting point class and we're going to go down to our run method here and instead of checking for a y variable we are first going to check for our uh, boolean value if you guys didn't notice when you set up your getters and setters it actually changes boolean values to is and set instead of get and set so we're going to say uh, item i dot is and then it create new so again all that's doing is creating a or generating the true or false statement that we have set up for the specific item in our item array and if that's true we know we either have a collision or if it's or it's off to the left of our screen so what we're all we're going to do is create a new random object and then we're going to set up our item to be a random item um, and that's how that's going to work all right so now that we have that set up after we set up our item within our item array, we want to set that uh, that boolean value back to false. Um, so we're going to go, you know, blow here, still within our if statement, but after our switch in case, um, we are going to set up our item i, or item in position i, I should say. We're going to say uh, set create new, and we're going to set that to be false again until we have another collision or if it's off to the left of our screen. And that's how we set that up. So let's uh, save this, run it, and hopefully we get some different, uh, you know, different colors here. So, all right. So we're running this, and we're trying to see if there's, uh, you know, first of all, if they get regenerated, and secondly, if they're kind of newer objects each time they go on the screen, which we can't really tell as of right now. But you know, that's fine. All right. So we also want to check for a collision. Whoops, which I probably won't be able to do there. Alright, so that looks pretty good. I didn't get any items, and we had two red items and a blue item, and then that, now the green item's coming up and a red item. Um, so it looks like, looks like it's kind of working. Next thing we'll have to do is check for collision, so let's try and hit one of these guys. So our collision seems to be working as well. Um, all right, well, I guess that's it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, just getting steps closer to finishing our game. Um, I'm not for sure what we'll do in the next tutorial, maybe some graphics or some sound. So uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll catch you then. Have a good one.